This nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update, episode 787, Tipping the Scale. Enjoy. With that, um, you know, we are definitely looking forward to seeing that trailer and seeing the quest coming on Monday. And that leads us into our next question, which is from um, one of RuneScape's community managers himself, Maud Porky. What do you expect the Desperate Measures plot to be? That is such a big question. Um, you know, I have to say that starting off, it comes down to our three friends that we see on the on the background for desperate measures, including Charos, Thok, and Karapak, of course. And, you know, we didn't know where they were heading to back then. They were definitely heading towards Anachronia. I think what we're going to wind up doing and learning in Desperate Measures is that the plot of what Karapak is trying to do is a way to get back at the Elder Gods for something perhaps that they might have tangentially done to the Dragonkin. Because remember... You mean like torture them every with the stone of jazz for Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was alluding to. And remember we have two different frames for Fossil Island or Anachronia, depending on what you want to call it. We have the frame that we see it in, where it's full of life, and there's still Dragonkin runes. Then we have the old school runescape where it is literally fossil islands. It's burnt to a crisp. Something drastic happened there. And my theory is that through this, we'll learn, of course, about the history of the Dragonkin, why, and I think it's obvious why they want to get back at the Elder Gods and kill them because of what they did in terms of the Stone of Jazz, like you mentioned. But I think what we're going to learn is we're going to learn about the history of the Dragonkin and specifically what they used their lost city of Orthon for on Anachronia. And then how that ties into the modern day archaeology that we're seeing and also the other five god factions of all the various dig sites that we have in the archaeology skill. And to sum it up, um, we already know that one of the relics that we're going to get as a reward for the quest and mute your ears for the next 20 seconds if you don't want to hear this, if you don't want to hear a spoiler from Desperate Measures, I'll just wait. We get a relic from that quest that's going to prevent our charm sprite uh or sorry our sprite focus from archaeology from going below 10 percent that's going to be one of the rewards from desperate measures so my idea behind this is that we'll learn exactly what is happening on anachronia while also learning about the dragonkin stone of jazz elder gods relationship and in doing so maybe we'll learn why our version of Anachronia is full of life. While the one people were expecting, and even Mr. Mardo had said that he was expecting to see a burnt area. If you go back to uh, the Anachronia base camp tutorial, you were expecting to see a burnt area on that. Well, it's got to, I mean, we know like if it's desperate, I mean, it's desperate measures, right? So we're going to have to do something that seems bad like the only way to save the world is to sacrifice a part of it type of thing um which goes into my theory that uh whatever we do in this quest is going to be so impressive that it'll uh appease and impress the elder gods you think we're gonna do that in this quest or is it gonna wait until closer to the finale of the arc I think it could happen in this quest um, and end up going in Carapac slipping away. And then we try the finale is taking him down much like Siliske was. But would you really want to kill a dragonkin when there's so few of them left? Because there's only a handful uh, of them left. They killed a god, uh, you know. It, I mean, bad stuff happens when you do things like that. Uh, All what right. Can I say? All right. Um, we know the needles anyway, going to be involved, of course. 
Yeah, and they and they screwed with um the the uh, dragon rider. So you know, whatever. Yeah. The the uh, what was it? One of a kind. Or... Yeah, one of a kind is when he first yeah. appeared, and they were doing all those kinds of experiments on him. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we have the measure. I don't know exactly where that is. Is that in our bank? It's not in your bank. You use it to find I know, the I, Elder Gods. Are. I mean, I know, what, I mean I know what it's used for. I remember using it. Oh, okay. I, I just don't know if yeah. I have, have it in my bank or if I destroyed it. That's bad. You can probably get it back. I would yeah, imagine. yeah. But let's also just look at how this is shaping up here right now. Karapak tried to get the Stone of Jazz. He wound up destroying it. Karapak has the siphon, otherwise known as the Staff of Armadil, which is used to uh, fuse elements and to transfer power. Karapak also has the mirror, which is used to duplicate items and environments. And he has the needle. What if he's trying to duplicate it? I think I know what's going to happen. What if he's trying to duplicate this lost city of Orthon and to bring it back and to bring the dragonkin that were back with it? He uses the needle to go back in time to bring – to restore the anima from when the dragonkin were around. And then he uses the mirror in order to duplicate those and – what we have seen is that when he flew away at the end of Desperate Times with this needle and the staff of Armadale, he used the mirror to duplicate Fossil Island. Or as we see it now, Anachronia. And then when we – because everybody thought it was going to be a dead – landmass right uh -huh. but what if in duplicating it when combined with the needle he was able to bring it back to how it was and we have to destroy it I don't think we have or to destroy dragon, it or else the dragon kin will come back yeah and the problem he had was that there wasn't enough anima around where he was in order to bring back the dragonkin in the city of Orthon. But he was able to bring back the landmass in terms of using the siphon, which is the staff of Armadil, the needle, and the mirror. And because we have the measure, he wasn't able to do something in the proper enough way to get it done. And then that chamber that we saw in the concept art is potentially as a way to infuse that area with anima to try again. And we're going to be bystanders watching what he has done, and our goal is going to be attempt to stop him, and the, the measure will come in somewhere in terms of what we're able to effectively um, see if there's too much infused anima. You can watch full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. You can also listen to audio versions of RSBNB Update at update.rsbnb.com and feel free to subscribe to our show on any number of podcast listeners out there at update.rsbnb.com slash subscribe.